This is the story of one of the worst cases of Munchausen by proxy I've ever heard. This is the story of Garnet and Lacey Spears. This is Lacey Spears. She appears to be a relatively lovely girl. She worked at a daycare in her teenage years and seemed to love children. When she was 20 years old, she gave birth to an absolutely gorgeous baby boy named Garnet. However, at only nine days old, Lacey was rushing Garnet to the hospital. She claims that Garnet was failing to thrive, that he had systemic infections, and that he wasn't eating. And that it'd be the first of many hospital visits for Garnet. When Garnet was eight months old, Lacey requested that he had a feeding tube be put in, because she kept insisting that he was a failure to thrive child. It took her a while to find a doctor who would do it, but she eventually did. The surgeries did not stop there, though. Lacey claimed that Garnet was constantly vomiting and wasn't holding any food down. Now remember this because it's important. Garnet had a surgery so that he could no longer throw up. So Lacey and Garnet moved around a lot, all in an effort to find a cure for Garnet. She was also incredibly active on social media and had a blog called Garnet's Journey. And it was pretty popular. She was a young single mom with a chronically ill child and she got a ton of comfort, support, and sympathy. She claims she went to 20 different medical facilities looking for a cure, but they wound up in a place in New York called the Fellowship Community, which focuses on sustainable farm-to-table living. And they were welcomed with open arms. They wanted to help this child who wasn't able to eat anything. However, after some time, they were starting to notice that this child could eat just fine. In fact, sometimes he wanted double portions of some meals. But Lacey would continue to double down on her claims that Garnet is sick. Then Lacey got some tragic news. Lacey was a single parent, but it turned out that his birth father had passed away. She shared this information with the community, and they were heartbroken for her. Like, this poor woman just has so much adversity that she has to overcome. A few days later, Garnet is rushed to the hospital. Lacey told the doctors he had a high fever and he was having seizures. That was a Friday. They hooked him up to an EEG to monitor for seizures, but he didn't have one, both Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So doctors felt confident for him to be able to go home, which is great news. But then something terrible happens. Only a few minutes after doctors gave Lacey this good news, Garnet took a turn for the worse and became incredibly sick. And within hours, Garnet had passed away and the doctors treating Garnet were absolutely dumbfounded by what could have happened to this little boy who was fine just minutes before, which I will talk about in part two. This is one of the worst cases of Munchausen by proxy I've ever heard. Part two. This is the story of Lacey and Garnet Spears. Go ahead and watch parts one and two to catch up. So picking up where we left off, Garnet has just passed away mysteriously, despite being fine hours earlier. And the doctors are dumbfounded by how this could have happened. So the doctors ran as many tests as they could to figure it out. Well, it turns out that Garnet's little body had a lethal amount of sodium in it. Garnet had the equivalent of 69 packets of McDonald's salt in his system. So how did it get there? The doctors called the police. The doctors called in Lacey first, and she was pretty well-spoken, to be honest. She told them about the death of his birth father. Uh, She had a really good working knowledge of all of his medical conditions. And the police really had no reason not to believe her until they spoke to Lacey's father. The topic of the death of Garnet's birth father somehow came up. And Lacey's dad was uh, super confused because it turns out that not only is Garnet's birth father alive and well, but the man that Lacey was talking about isn't his father. Upon hearing this news, the police started to suspect Lacey even more, because if you can lie about something that big, you can lie about a lot of other things too. The police issued a warrant to search Lacey's apartment, and they found something pretty troubling. Sitting on a table with all of Garnet's medications, they found a big container of sea salt, and Garnet passed away from sodium poisoning. That in and of itself is just circumstantial evidence and doesn't mean much, The police got a huge break when Lacey's neighbor called in, and she said that Lacey had asked her to dispose of a feeding bag and not to tell anyone. The neighbor did keep the bag, she gave it to the police, they tested it, and it had an astronomical amount of sodium in it. But all of this evidence is still circumstantial. 
they weren't sure if they had enough to tie this to Lacey yet. Until they discovered this. Garnet's final moments were captured on camera. It's a haunting video, but basically what happens. The doctors come in and he's fine. He and Lacey go off screen for a few minutes. When they return, uh, just a few moments later, Garnet doubles over and his little body is trying to vomit up the salt in his system, but he can't because he had surgery to prevent him from throwing up. And the camera did catch Lacey holding the salt in her hand. Lacey was found guilty and was sentenced to 20 years to life in prison for the depraved indifference she showed to her child.